we're gonna make the first layer of the uh, paint that's gonna go on the loom for the circular weaving. So when I made this loom here, I started with just the solid colors. I didn't do any of the dots or the stripes. Um, and I really used a limited color palette. So I stuck with the blues and the purples um, down in this area. And so I want you to really think about how you can unify the colors in here with what you choose. So uh, we're gonna get this plate. The first thing I do is always the same. Take out my pencil and I write my name. You can put your class code. So this would be Thomas fourth grade, uh, whatever, color, whatever uh, class you're in, you'll put the code on there. And then um, I'm going to, just to do something different, I'm gonna kind of go with the, the warm sides of things. And I'm gonna do another analogous color scheme here, just kind of do some reds and oranges, yellows and some browns. Um, I also have a mixing palette and a palette knife so that I can mix colors if I want to. And I've got water to rinse out my brush. So I just dip the tip and make sure that the brush here, you can still see the hairs. Okay. All right, when I want to switch colors, uh, I wipe my brush and I rinse and then I wipe it again. Um, I have a brown here. And I'm moving my wrist, I'm, or I'm moving by the elbow, not the wrist, so that um, I have nice steady lines. So this will be really nice for when if I, I could do like a yellow string over that and that would really pop nicely. All right, so I'm gonna switch. So I wipe my brush. I'm gonna rinse. I think I'm gonna go with uh, yellow here. Now I want to watch it. Watch this. If I put brown on the other side of that yellow, it's going to make the yellow look even brighter. When you put dark colors right next to light colors, it really heightens that uh, contrast. So I'm going to do that here. And see now you can see that yellow it didn't just fade into the white plate. Okay, uh, you don't have to do color mixing, but if you want to, you don't wanna do any of it in here. Uh, and you start with the um, darkest color first. So I'm gonna put some brown in here. I'm just gonna put like two little dabs of brown. I'm gonna wipe my brush off or my uh, palette knife here off. And then I wanna put a little bit of red in here. Oh no. So what I'm gonna actually do with that, just kind of scoop up with my palette knife. And I've decided now that I'm gonna make that the part that's the brown red. So that's gonna be nice. Oh, I, I actually like that a lot better. So that's what I use, what I call, uh, what I learned from the Bob Ross uh, show is called Happy Accidents. Or something happens and you notice it and it's actually kind of nice. So notice I didn't, you know, do any mixing with the brush, didn't do any mixing on the other palette, because other people are going to use that, and they don't want to necessarily have all the colors all mixed up. And all of this brown and this red still stays brown and red. So, got that here. Let's turn this so I can reach it better. All right. 
And I'm gonna suggest you go right up to the edge, but I'm gonna stop so you have time to do your work. 